Hey up YouTube, Scott here again from Vibrancy Van Life. And in today's video, I wanted to talk about the options that when you're looking for a vehicle, whether you go for a barn door or whether you go for a tailgate. So there's pros and cons to both, and there is no right answer here. Um, it is literally very subjective and very much down to personal preference. I'm gonna start off by saying at this moment in time, my van is currently being built. So I don't actually own a T5 uh, or a transporter um, as we are talking. I'd started this channel, this is only video three, to kind of document the stuff that I had to dig around on the internet and find and search and pull from here, there and everywhere. I wanted to try and put it into all one place as a, as a, as a education tool, if you like, for other people out there, like you maybe who's watching this, um, when you're actually looking for a van. So I'm gonna start off by defining exactly what a tailgate and a, and a barn door is, because this sounds really stupid. Uh, but when I was looking for a van, I didn't actually understand what tailgate and barn door were because the picture I had in my head of a barn door was was actually um, one of those stable doors where the top opens and you can keep the bottom shut. And I was thinking, how does that work on a van? Um, so I really couldn't figure it out until I started looking into it a bit more and I saw specific adverts where it said barn door and then I looked at the back and then I saw tailgate and I'm like, ah, right. So maybe I'm just stupid, I don't know. Uh, so I'm not really gonna do pros and cons because there's kind of, they kind of bleed into each other. So I'm just gonna talk about tailgates and I'm gonna talk about barn door. So I'm gonna start off talking about the hallowed tailgate. Um, so basically when that tailgate opens up, you can stand underneath it when it's raining or it, you can use it as a sun canopy in the real uh, real amazing British weather that we get now and again, the three days of summer that we get. Um, so you can obviously stand under it and use it as a really handy shelter. It's one piece that lifts up and it gives you about 1.4 meters, uh, so 142.2 centimeters, I think it is, of coverage from the back of the van. So that's really handy, obviously, if you if it's raining and you can stand underneath with your flask. But also note that if you are stood under it and it is raining, the number plate recess can fill full of water. So when you actually shut it, if you stood in the wrong place, you can actually get soaked with water as well. So there's a bit of a downside to that. But one of the downsides of this massive canopy is that, obviously, when you're opening it, you're really restricted as to where you can park and stuff because if you're opening it that 1.4 meters has got to swing out and fold up so you it, like around town and stuff if you're using it as a daily driver that's something to bear in mind obviously in some parking spaces you won't be able to have enough room for it to for it to swing up in fact some people have actually noted that they have to pull off the drive to be able to open it and then load in also because it is a single piece this can actually be when, when it's up it can actually be quite heavy um, to pull down, or it, that might be something to do with some people's gas struts, I'm not sure, uh, but there are some reports of them being quite heavy uh, to pull down. And if you are a short arse like me and you are vertically challenged, you may find it difficult to reach up and actually grab hold of it. So that's something to bear in mind as well. If you are a small family, you may have to get on each other's shoulders to be able to shut it. One of the upsides to this about sheltering underneath it, if it is quite windy, it's almost impossible for that to, to slam shut. Unlike the barn door versions, which is when they open, they're obviously sticking out of the side of you here, which can act as a bit of a wind deflector, but if the hinges are not too great and you do get a good gust, that could come round and that could whip you, um, causing great injury. And again, because this is up out of the way, it's less likely to get damaged, so the barn doors are open, so they're more likely to get scratched or something. Basically, once you open this up, it's up about on roof level and out of the way. There's a massive argument in this scene that it just looks better. So it's more aesthetically pleasing. It's got a better ass, as some people uh, kind of describe it. So, but again, this is very subjective and it's down to your own personal preference. If you're driving a tailgate then, and you're looking in your rear view mirror, then the chances are with a tailgate, you'll be able to see the window at the back is very much uh, like this one here in the back of my car. Um, so you've got good visibility out of the back. With a barn door, you'll have the section in between and the pillar that's gonna separate both of the doors. So it does restrict the view when you are driving. The tailgates clearly are more sought after. There's less of them around uh, and they do actually carry a high cost at the front end. The plus side to that is obviously when you do come to resell it, they are more resellable um, and they should fetch a little bit more, but it kind of maybe negates it slightly because you've you've kind of bought it uh, at a heavier price at the uh, at the front end. And the final one for the tailgate is if you've got four bikes that you want to carry on the back of it, you can quite easily get 
um, the bike racks that fit onto the back of a tailgate that carry four bikes. But with four bikes on the back of it, you're going to find it nigh on impossible to be able to open the tailgate if you wanted to get in the back of it. So moving on to the barn door, or as they say around some parts where I live, barn door. So I'd started on the tailgate bit talking about the shelter. Now with the barn doors, uh, it's not impossible to get this shelter. So you would have to buy an extra barn door awning. So they're pretty easy to fit. Uh, I'm going to link a uh, link down in below to the uh, stitches and steel one, which looks absolutely awesome. The attention to detail of these guys is fantastic. Even down to the pole where it says it on it, it's carbon fiber. It's a neoprene uh, cover that goes over the top. They've thought about spoilers. They've thought about attachment places. They've thought about more, more or less anything. So I'll link that below. Um, the downside, obviously, you're never going to get the coverage what you get on a tailgate. I think you get about 85 centimetres of coverage um, by putting one of the barn door awnings across. So you're not going to beat the amount of coverage that you would get from a tailgate. And obviously, you're having to buy an extra bit of kit, which is about 100 quid uh, or the £100 plus, uh, to be able to create the same opportunity that you had with the tailgate which has cost you now. So with a barn door, it's not such an issue about opening the back doors. You don't need as much space behind you. So if you are using it as a daily driver, then barn doors may be a good use for you. It won't restrict you too much about loading in from the back of the vehicle. So that might be something to think about. Also, the plus of having two doors at the back is that you can access through just one of the doors. So basically get one of the doors open. So if you are ram packed full uh, on your camping trip, then with a tailgate, the chances are you could open the back and everything falls out. With the barn door, you can just open one door and you can access like that. Plus, if it was raining and you needed to pop back to the van and there was something in the back of the van and it had a barn door, then you can just open the one door again, reach in and get what you need. Then you're not having to open and expose the entire back of the van, losing all the heat from inside, etc., and also potentially letting in this driving rain onto your rock and roll bed. So because of the two doors on the barn door, you don't have to be tall to be able to shut them. So you don't have the same issues as you would do with a tailgate if you're a short arse like me. So another little bonus is if you've got barn doors and you've got a roof rack, then you should be able to reach the roof rack by standing on the van floor with the back doors open to be able to reach the roof rack as well. Because of the two opening doors on the back of the barn door, one of the, the, the main concerns is you, they open in a certain order and they shut in a certain order. If you get that order mixed up and you've got a spoiler on the back, you're going to knacker that spoiler up. So you must remember which one you close first and which one you close second. So the barn door versions are way more available. You can buy them at a lower cost generally, although in the market that we're in at the minute with all this COVID shenanigans, you won't see too much difference, I want to thought. But what you gain at the front end, so with the lower cost, etc., you will lose at the back end, so it's got a lower resale value. And they're slightly less desirable to anybody who's wanting to buy it. So bike rack wise with a barn door, you can get bike racks that fit onto one of the doors, but they will only be able to carry up to two bikes. Um, but if you're wanting to carry four bikes, the chances are you're gonna have to get a tow bar fitted and get a tow bar fitted version, which will carry four bikes. The beauty of that is, if you did need to access the back doors with the bikes on the tow bar, generally, especially the fuel ones, have got a tilt. So you basically tilt it back so you can still access the back doors. So just to sum this up, it's literally down to personal preference. It's very subjective and each individual person, I've spoke to lots of people on forums and the dubbed art community, etc. Literally, it is kind of down to what you want as a family. And sometimes it's what you're lumbered with. So. The van that was available for me was a barn door version. I didn't have any massive emotional tie to a tailgate version. Um, so I'm going to obviously discover what it's like for us as a family with a barn door. But what I will say is, I know that people with barn doors can convert them to a tailgate. But I've never known and never seen anybody with a tailgate convert the other way to barn doors. Does that speak volumes? I don't know. I'll leave that up to you. 
And lastly, if you think I've forgotten anything or anything that is pertinent to you as specifically as a family, either a positive or a negative, um, please comment below. And also, if you could possibly, please like, subscribe and share this video if you think it's going to be of some use. I'm literally doing these videos because I would have found these very useful to have in one place. So I just thought that this is my version of trying to give back. Thanks for watching. Scotty from Vibrancy Van Life. Over and out. So I've started about talking off. Uh, no, no. I said, pop, pop, pop.